Hello guys, uh, it's Robert. Um, this is actually a reply. It's a video I meant to make, um, haven't made it yet, and uh, Savage Hippie beat me to it. It's uh, it's about my spiritual beliefs, cause um, um, not normal in my beliefs, I guess. Uh, this is how I, I started off. Pretty much when I was a kid, my parents were Baptists. They made me go to church. Whether I agreed with it or not, it didn't matter. Um, I, I didn't know anything about church back then, so it, nothing really counted. Um, after that, I got older, and I started actually, uh, one of the first things that started getting me thinking, worldly thinking, was uh, I didn't want to eat meat. I was a vegetarian from 14. I was eating meat. Uh, or eating food that my mom made. Uh, she made steak and mashed potatoes and corn, you know, typical American meal. And uh, I just didn't eat the steak. And they sent me to my room and were going to ground me, and then I guess they realized it was a life choice, and uh, so th they let me go. Uh, 14, and that's actually around the time when I started uh, studying Buddhism, which is my current religion. Um, I started studying Buddhism. I liked the the peaceful aspect of it, and you know everybody getting along and uh, karma. Karma is very big in my life. I believe in karma 100%. Um, basically, <laughs> in fact, when I was sick the other day, I'm better now, thankfully. Um, but when I was sick the other day, my wife was like, "Yeah, it's karma for something. You did something bad," <laughs> which I probably have. Um, so anyways, I started studying all that um, when I was 18, 18, joined the, Mar uh, joined the Marine Corps, and uh, it was almost impossible to be a vegetarian, so I just started eating meat all over again. Um, still, that's actually uh, the cool thing about the Marine Corps and boot camp, at least, is they offer Buddhism classes, or, or not Buddhism classes, but Buddhism worship. But it really sucks because all they do is make hymns of stuff that's not in English. So I had no clue what we were doing. So it was basically three hours of sleep, which was good too in boot camp. Um, yeah, so essentially uh, I got out of boot camp. I married my, my first wife. Uh, we were married for two years. But uh, in the beginning of those two years, I got deployed to Iraq, uh, Kuwait, not Iraq, I don't want to lie, um, Kuwait, right before the war. Um, the guy, My wife was a Christian, I was still Buddhist, so you can imagine, there was a little conflict in her, because she was really, thought it was bad to be married to a Buddhist, I guess, uh, you know, conflict, religion, Christianity, Buddhism, stuff like that. Um, so... Uh, I got deployed, anyways, back on the story, and there was a guy out there, and funny enough, his name was Sergeant Christian, so that was really interesting to me, um, and he had, you know, just told me so many things like, uh, you know, think about it this way, your wife is, you know, she's a Christian, you're surrounded by Christians out here, there's, you know, God is trying to point you in a certain direction, things like that, and not... Uh, it did get me uh, thinking about it, and I honestly believe I became a Christian in in uh, in Kuwait. Uh, but that's common; a lot of people find God in war. Um, but I'm not I'm not demeaning it by saying that. I'm just saying it's he did. The guy happened to put it into my face, so uh, I thank him for that, Sergeant Christian, wherever he's at. And uh, so then, anyways. I came back, I ended up getting divorced, um, which sucks, but that, that also ruined my faith in Christianity as well. I started having doubts um, and all that sort of stuff, and then I actually went agnostic for a while. Food! Um, I went agnostic for a while, and I didn't have any belief system. I just believed that all religions were just a philosophy to live by, which I still kind of believe in. I believe 
religions are basically laws set for you know people to live by and have good society and everything like that because there's no laws, no religious laws, and nobody's gonna scratch this. I'm gonna edit that out. I hope. <laughs> um. So I got out of the Marine Corps. Oh, I married my new wife in Japan. Um, got out of the Marine Corps, stayed out here. Um, actually started being a vegetarian again, and the old gears started working about um, Buddhism. You know, look. And I'm also surrounded by Buddhism a lot out here in Japan, so it's commonplace. But still, I'm an American that believes in Buddhism. And even Japanese people are like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be Christian. Uh, so uh, so I'm out here. Uh, I had actually stopped being a vegetarian again because I, Buddhism, you have to... Uh, you don't have to do anything. Buddhism, pretty much, y you want to have the least least amount of uh, resistance in a stream. You don't want to be the the salmon in Seattle fighting against the stream. You don't want to create friction, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I, I, I stopped being a vegetarian, not completely, but what happened was is I, uh, I only ate meat when it was going to be thrown away. So that was my alternative to, to it. Um, and I'm still Buddhist, I'm still, uh, still Buddhist, still believe in karma and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, and if you guys want to know more about Buddhism, I suppose I could tell you, but probably not in this video. If you want to ask, I'll write it in comments or something. Um, and But like uh, Savage Hippie, I'm also very... Uh, oh, thank you, Savage. This is your video anyways that I'm replying to, so you know, thanks for letting me reply. Um, but even like Savage Hippie, I'm I'm very tolerant of any religion. If I see somebody trying to mock somebody else's religion, I try to, in a peaceful way, tell them, be like, hey, there's no reason for ignorance or, you know, hatred or racism or whatever other kind of things are out there. And try to make the world a more peaceful place. That's why I'm kind of hippie too in my own sense. Um, so that's it about my spiritual beliefs. Um, but I, I, I believe everybody should believe in whatever they feel is right for them. Um, good news today. I went to Starbucks. I went people watching. And uh, I found a friend just randomly. And I uh, told him I wanted a video camera for making YouTube videos. He said he's got a camera he's had for a year. It's kind of one of the big bulky ones though. He's never used. And he's selling it to me for 100 bucks. So be prepared for some Asa. Um, also right now in Japan, the whole Japan is pretty much shut down. There's this thing called Golden Week. It's a string of like four holidays, five holidays, and everybody just shuts shop, shuts down shop. Um, all of our Jap Japanese mechanics at work, gone. Uh, try to go anywhere out in town except for like a restaurant or service place, done. You can't do anything for like this whole week. Um, so I just wanted to tell you guys that that's a little more cultural thing. I want to bring you cultural stuff all the way from Japan. I think this kanji right here is uh, shiawase, which means happiness. Um, and, uh, yeah, pretty much happiness. And I don't know what that one or that one means, but they all mean some sort of peace, love, happiness sort of thing. Yeah. And uh, that's it. And there's a cool little dragon head on top. She's the dog. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I'll talk to you later.